In this video, we will learn how to create an OIDC single page application app in Okta dashboard. So let's get started. Go ahead and log in to the Okta dashboard. Now, click on Applications, Applications, and then click on Create App Integration. For the sign in method, click on OIDC OpenID Connect, which is an application that integrates with Okta's identity and access management platform using the OpenID Connect protocol and it's intended to build a custom app integration with the Okta sign-in widget. For the application type, click on Single Page Application, which is also known as a browser-based app, as it runs entirely in the browser after loading JavaScript and HTML source code from a web browser, where the client receives tokens. It's a type of web application or website that interacts with the user, by dynamically refreshing the existing web page with fresh data from the web server instead of the default approach of loading entirely new pages. Click on Next. Name the app. Logo. Use this option if you want to add a logo to the app. Proof of possession in which you can check required demonstrating proof of possession. Depop, header in token requests. Use this option to require a client to prove possession of a public or private key pair for token requests. For now, we'll keep the authorization code as it's the recommended grant type for single page applications. And we'll also enable refresh tokens so that the application can renew the user's token without user interactions. Sign in redirect URI is the pre registered callback URL for the app which must match the value of the redirect URI in the authorize request, where the authorization code or tokens are sent in the source code. Log out redirect URIs in which Okta will redirect to after the application contacts Okta to close the user session. You can add more than one URI in the sign-in or sign-out redirect URI. The single logout feature. Use this option to allow a user to sign out of a single logout participating app on their device and end their Okta session. The user is then automatically signed out of all other single logout participating apps on other devices. Then there's the trusted origins. Use this option if you want to use the Okta sign-in widget with a trusted origin set. In this case, the widget can make calls to the authentication API from that domain. Assignments, you can allow everyone in the organization to access the app or limit access to selected groups. Or you can skip assignments for now. Click on Save and the app will be created. You'll recognize that the app has been created without a client secret. Since the app runs entirely in the browser, the entire source would be available in the browser. Therefore, the confidentiality of a client secret cannot be maintained. The best option in that case is a proof key for code exchange, which is PKCE, and it's used to protect the authorization code in the redirect. Let's go through the authorization code flow with PKCE flow, which is an extension of the standard authorization code grant OAuth flow, and it introduces a technique to prevent unauthorized access to resources in the case of code interception. First, your application generates a code verifier and a code challenge that will be used in the flow. The code verifier is a random URL safe string with a minimum length of 43 characters. The code challenge is a base 64 encoded SHA-256 hash of the code verifier. Your app directs the browser to the Okta sign-in page through the authorize request call and then sends with it the code challenge. Their authorize request would look something like this where the code challenge method and the code challenge are sent with it. Okta redirects the authentication through a 302 redirect to the Okta sign-in page. Then the user authenticates. Once the user is authenticated, the browser receives an authorization code from Okta Authorization Server, which is passed to your app. Your app then sends the authorization code with the code verifier to Okta through the token request. The token request should look something like this, with the authorization code and the code verifier sent with it. 
Okta evaluates the PKCE code. Okta authorization server responds with the requested tokens. With these tokens, your app can now call the resource server on behalf of the user. Then the resource server validates the token before responding to the request. Thank you for watching. For more Okta support videos, check the Okta support list.